This lesson is going to focus on benchmarks for a whole and what we're going to look at is we're going to estimate whether a fraction is closer to one or a half or zero. And we're first going to take it from the pictorial viewpoint. We're going to give cards of fractions so we've got them out of circles and rectangles and we're going to focus on the colored portions. So what we would do is we'd have some little fraction cards and we could flip up one and then ask the students what is the orange part representing? And from the picture they should be able to find out well it's one out of three or one third. So is it going to be closer to a half? Is it going to be closer to zero? Or is it going to be one? And you want them to be discussing so this is going to be one-third. It's going to be in here somewhere. So our next discussion point is, is it going to go up or is it going to go down? And Jim says it's going to go to half, so let's put it there. Mm -hmm. So here's our next one. So what is that fraction? It's one-tenth. So if I wanted to estimate it, if I had a tenth of a tank of gas, what would it be closer to? A half a tank or almost empty? And so we could put that up there. Now we have two halves. Well, that is our whole circle. So it's going to go over here. one quarter. You're going to get lots of examples. Well, one quarter is going to be right in the middle between zero and a half. Is it closer to a half or is it closer to zero? And you need to discuss this with your class. For example, some may say, well, it's going to go up. Some may say it's going to be down. The key is not which is the, the right answer, but how can they explain it? Okay, so either way would be correct. If I was talking about my gas tank, I might say it's closer to zero, it's time to fill it up. Here's another circle. So we have four eighths. And we could say, well, that's another way to show a half. Then we have three fifths. You might ask the students, what would a half look like on that shape? And get them to, to make an, a line. Well, where do you think it goes? And we could go on with, with our cards. So then the next point is, okay, let's just use fractions. Just the numbers without the pictures. They can be visualizing in their head, what does a third look like? Well, I could say, I think it's going to go about here. So, is it closer to zero? Is it closer to a half? And then I could say, well, it's going to be right down here. If I had two-thirds, where is that going to go? And then, is it closer to a half or is it closer to one? Now I have a third and two thirds that are closer to a half. Does that make sense? And these are things that you can discuss with your class. One fifth. Now getting them to put it on the number line too and say, well, if I cut my number line into five parts, this is where it's going to be. So it also brings home whenever my denominator is larger, that means I'm getting closer to 1. So it goes back into the size of fractions. So this one is going to be closer to 0. So we could go on with pictures or, or fractions written in the numerical form, but this is just estimating what are they close to.